Crush FTP has an advanced task system that you can use to run scheduled jobs at an interval or that you can attach as events to user actions. I'm going to show you a couple examples of those. I'm going to log in as my administrative user and go to the jobs tab. The jobs tab is an enterprise only feature. The event system can be used by all licenses. So first I'm going to show you the job system. We'll create a new job. I'm going to call it test. The starting point of the job is a start task here. I'm going to create a new task called find and I'm going to set it to find files in a specific local folder where I have some files. The find URL doesn't need to be a local folder. It could be a remote FTP site or remote SFTP site. You can use the browse function to help you fill out a URL for where you're going to find and grab files from. I only want to find a couple files. I don't care about the beginning part of the path, but I care about the end of the file name it needs to be kbstar.txt. So this is going to find some files that match that pattern. The next action I want to do is I'm going to take those files and I'm going to copy them somewhere. So I'm going to set up a copy and I'm going to send them to my testing folder that I've been using. I'm going to call them name which is going to use original file name as it writes out the file. There's a whole list of variables that you can use. Name is all I care about in this case. After I copy them, I want to zip them all up. The source filter I'm going to leave as a star so it grabs all the files. I'm going to zip them here in this location. And next I'm going to take that zip file and send it as an email. And I'm just going to fill out a simple form. Using the tag parameters like this with line, it will repeat a line for each item's name that's being sent out. I'm going to attach the files to this email. And for the filter, I only want to send out the email with the zip file that I made. So I'm going to do star.zip. Okay, and now I'm going to set up the process flow. From when the job starts, I'm going to take the success and go to find. I'm going to take the find success and go to copy, and the copy success and go to zip, and the zip success and go to email. And when the email is done, I'm going to go to the end task. Now if there's an error, I'm going to send another email. There's a file copy error. So now I've set up both success and error conditions for this task. I'm going to save my changes and then I'm going to run this task and you can watch in real time as the task progresses. You can see the blue highlighting that shows you as it's flowing along through the task. Send an email and the task is complete. You can also review the log if you wanted to to see what the actual details were of all the task items and the log will show you all the different things as it was processing them. So that's the job system. Now the user manager is another place where you can configure these as events. So on a particular user, we can set up their events and we can use the same job system that we were just using 
that was the enterprise feature. I'm going to make another job here, or another event here. When this user uploads, do the event immediately. I'm going to enable it. And clicking on it will open up the designer so you can design it. A key difference from the way that the job designer works is that when the start task starts here, it already has a list of files that the user had uploaded. So you don't have to go do a find to go find files that might be in a folder. Crush FTP knows the items that the user was working with, the, the items that they downloaded, the items that they uploaded, etc. It knows those items and it passes them on to each task. So my first step is going to be a copy and then an email. And finally, I'm going to finish with the end step. Events and tasks can get more complicated. You can add in jump steps that will jump to other places. If you have an enterprise license, you can also add in conditionals. So if a file is greater than a certain size, then do this action. If it's less than the size, then do this action. And a lot more options you can do there. Crush task is a very powerful business process flow system. There's many different types of tasks that can be executed. You can read in files like a CSV file and import them into a database. You can export a database table to a CSV file, then take that CSV file and move it somewhere else. You can do compression, encryption. You can monitor an email box if you're an enterprise license and pull out attachments that are in the email box and then perform different actions with them. The crush task system is very extensible. Hope this gives you a few ideas on how you can use crush task in either the job system or in events.